Hello, my name is John Rose, and in this video, I'd like to take a closer look at one of the five symptoms of inflammation. It's the most important symptom because it's the one system, symptom that confuses most of us. It's impairment of function. In fact, a lot of our problems come from when our organs stop working or they stop functioning. And there are two main ways our organs can stop working. There are two main ways our organs can stop functioning. And one is inflammation and the other is deficiency. One comes from the toxicity side of the equation and it begins with an inflammation and again there's the, to the deficiency side of the equation. Now most of our problems don't come from the deficiency side of the equation. In fact many of our deficiencies are actually due to toxicities. Most of our problems are coming from the toxicity side of the equation. And it begins with an inflammation, five symptoms. One of them is impairment of function. Now this is an important symptom to understand because this is where the true art of healing comes into play. This is where you play a really crucial role in understanding what kind of symptoms you have so you can understand what organ is damaged and then figure out the best way for you to support that organ. You've got to take responsibility. You have to acknowledge the fact that you are the cause of your problems. You didn't do it on purpose, you did it ignorantly like all of us do, at least most of us. But you have to take responsibility, you have to be willing to find out why you're sick. You have to be willing to find out what it's going to take to solve our problems, especially your own. And if you can at least search for the knowledge and then be willing to apply it, then you're going to be in a position to understand what's going on. Otherwise, you won't understand anything. The biggest problem that most of us have is that our experts don't know anything about the disease process. They think that it's an entity and it's got to be stopped and they don't understand it's how the body responds to what it's going through. So what we have to do is become educated. We have to understand that symptoms happen for a reason and we need to find out what we're doing that creates those symptoms. So when it comes to inflammation, remember most of our illnesses are coming from inflammation and most of our inflammation is coming from our lymph system backing up into our own system. It's our own body's waste that's causing most of our problems. It's amazing how simple it is to solve all of these inflammation conditions. And the tricky part is when we do what it takes to remove the cause, we can do that immediately we can change what we do overnight, but what we can't do overnight is change what we got. It may take a while. So if we have something that's inflamed and it's damaged and it's not functioning and it's not working, we have to make sure we support that organ on a temporary basis to make sure we give our body everything it needs. And this is where the true art of healing comes into play. Because how do you know when to stop supporting the body? Because your body can atrophy if you keep giving it something it's supposed to do. You got to make sure that the organ is able to do it eventually. And there's only one way to do that. We have to remove the source of inflammation, which is usually our own waste matter. So if we don't address that issue, we'll never get anywhere when it comes to these problems. So we start with removing the primary cause, and then if the body's still, still temporarily impaired, if it's still damaged and is not functioning, then we have to make sure we give the body what that organ would normally give us. So if the pancreas is damaged, we give it insulin. If the thyroid is damaged, we give it thyroxin. Again, there's an art. How do we know when to stop because we don't want the body to atrophy? If we keep giving our body something it's supposed to do, it won't need to do it. 
So this is again a true art when it comes to figuring out how have we been damaged, how long do we support our body because it's damaged. But all of that's a joke if we don't apply the science first. If we don't remove the primary causes and we only deal with those subsequent causes, that's not going to be a solution. That's why I say over and over and over, is you don't apply the art unless you apply the science. You got to remove the primary causes before you go after those subsequent causes. And it could even be a deficiency. In either case, if the organ is not working, we have to support the body. And that's the hardest part for most of us who aren't getting results. Fortunately, most of us don't have to worry about that. Most of us, all we have to do is remove the primary cause, satisfy our first group of needs, and that's pretty much all we have to do. But if our body is damaged, if we're going through inflammations, ulcerations, indurations, tumor cysts, fibroids, nodules, all those type of things, then the body might need some help. So when you can finally understand the importance of doing those two things, satisfy those essential needs, and helping support the body for any type of damage, then you're gonna finally realize, okay, I'm the answer, I'm the solution. Not only am I the solution when it comes to that first group of needs, but I'm also the, pri the main solution for understanding how my body has been damaged. You have more of an investment than anyone else out there to figure this out. And of course, if you're not feeling very good, that's not a very easy thing to do. But you have to take responsibility. A big part of the healing process is to learn why you're sick so you'll be motivated to apply what you need to apply. And when you can finally do that, I can guarantee you're gonna see results and yes, you'll be up for a treat.